Understanding, righting a wrong, an English phrase explained. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore the meaning and use of the phrase, righting a wrong. This is a commonly used expression in English, and understanding it can really help in both understanding English culture and improving your language skills. So, let's dive in. Writing a wrong is a phrase that means correcting a mistake or injustice. It's often used in situations where someone has been harmed or treated unfairly, and an action is taken to make things right again. The word, right, in this context means to make something correct or just. This phrase can be used in various contexts, from personal relationships to larger societal issues. Let's look at some examples of how writing a wrong can be used in everyday conversation. 1. Personal apology. After realizing he had misunderstood his friend, John decided to right the wrong by apologizing and explaining his mistake. 2. Social justice. The new law was passed to right the wrongs of the past discriminatory policies. 3. Correcting a misunderstanding. She righted the wrong by clarifying the misinformation spread about the event. Context is key when using the phrase, writing a wrong. It's important to understand the situation and the severity of the wrong that needs to be corrected. This phrase can be used for minor mistakes, like misunderstandings, or for serious issues, like injustice or harm. There are variations of this phrase that carry similar meanings. Phrases like, making amends, setting things right, or correcting a mistake, are often used interchangeably with, righting a wrong. Now, let's practice. Try to create your own sentences using, writing a wrong. Think about different scenarios where this phrase could be applied from simple daily interactions to more complex societal issues. I hope this video helps you understand and use the phrase, writing a wrong, confidently in your conversations and writing. Remember, learning a language is all about understanding the nuances and context of phrases like these. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to write any wrongs in your English learning journey. See you in the next video.